Hello everyone. In our last lesson, we saw how we could take our longitude and latitude coordinates and using GeoPandas, we were able to plot this map that contains some of our West African countries and most importantly, we used GeoPandas to convert our longitude and latitudes into geometries points and we could actually uh, plot this. In this lesson, we're going to see how we could plot the uh, US 2020 elections based on our current uh, date. Now, mind you, this uh, data might change, and this data I used to plot this was gotten from Kaggle. So if you go to Kaggle, you can actually search for Paul Mooney, and under the uh, percent voting for Democrats, party by state, you can actually get this information for this uh, chart right here, and we can download this, and that's what we're going to be using to plot our graph. So uh, search for Paul Mooney, He's part of the uh, Kaggle team, I guess, and then you can actually see the uh, election uh, information for the US 2020 uh, election that shows the uh, vote uh, percentage, All right? So uh, that's where we get that data from, but I'll also be providing that same CSV file. So let's go ahead and see how we can get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is to download the example data set. So I'm just going to scroll down here where it said the Democratic versus Republican votes by USC states. We can actually go ahead and click on this so we can download it. Or if you want, you can download these other data sets to also uh, uh, use that for your uh, example. And we can also see a sample of the data set. If we actually just go ahead and scroll and look at it, we can download all, or we can just scroll up to download this data set. Now I've gone ahead and downloaded this data set and I have it in my downloads uh, folder. So I'll need to get a reference to this path where I downloaded this uh, file. So to do that, I'm just going to use the Windows R key to get a uh, path and I'll just drag this and drop it right here. And I'll just copy this full path and I'll head over to my notebook and I'll just uh, paste this path underneath. I'll just call this my DF to stand for my, uh, I'll call this DF path. I'll just simply call it path for simplicity and I'll paste this path and I'll need to read this as a raw string. So first I'll pass this as a string and then use the R key. The reason why we're using this R key is to tell Python that this is a raw string. If we don't want to use the R key, we need to use double backspaces like this on each one, just like that. And this is going to load fine when we want to call this file. So go ahead on each one, and then we'll use the backspace. But I don't want to do that. I feel using the R is much more cleaner. So I'll just go ahead and get rid of these double backspaces and then use the R key and then run this. So this should be the path where our file is stored. Our CSV file is stored. So quickly, I'll import pandas. SPD. Uh, let's just zoom in to make this uh, slightly big so we can all see this. And let's get rid of the header and the toolbar because it's kind of distracting like that. And also going to import plot lead express. Express as PX. And also let's run these two imports. So right now my data frame is going to be equals to our pd dot read underscore csv and i'll just pass in that uh, path like that so let's go ahead and run our data frame so we can actually see the data frame we have so one thing i'd also like to do is to quickly add a percent republican column because we only have the uh, percent Democrat column. And simply, if this is percentage, I'll just subtract 100 from this value, and this will give us the percentage that's left for the Republican. So to create a column, let's just go down here and create a new column. So I'm just going to call that uh, DF, which is our same DF, and I'm just going to say percent underscore Republican. Republican, just like that, and this is going to be equal to 100 minus our DF Democrat to percent Democrat. So I'm just going to say uh, percent underscore Democrat. And if we run that and run our data frame dot head, let's say 4. We can actually see that we have a percent 
Republican uh, page right here. So all that is left right now is just for us to plot our figure using our Choropleth uh, map, which we've done a lot during this course. So let's just go ahead and do that one more time. So let's just say figure is going to be equal to our px dot Choropleth. And let's go ahead and pass in our data frame. And for our locations, so we're going to be using the uh, state code. So we're going to say USA underscore state USA underscore state underscore code and for our location mode we're going to be using the USA states so let's see uh, USA dash states and for our scope it's going to be equal to USA That's for our scope and our color. So let's use percent Republican. And then for our hover name, let's just pass this pass the state for the hover name. And then for our hover data. This is going to get this information from the columns we want. So I'm going to pass in the uh, DM. I'm also passing the uh, Republican. So I'll use these REP. And I'll also pass in percent underscore Democrat. And I'll also pass in the percent. Republican. So that's the data I want to kind of like hover when I have the uh, mouse cursor over it. And then for our range, let's just set a range for our scale. I'll set that a value of say uh, 10 comma 90 because our uh, max is less than 90 and the least value for our percentage Democrat and Republican less than uh, kind of like uh, 10. So I'll just use this value. And for our color scale, is color continuous scale. So I'll use a built in color. Let's use army rows. And for our title. Let's say uh, US 2020 elections. Now this might be liable to change, right? This information might be liable to change. So let's just, uh, we'll be using this for now. So we might come back after a few weeks and then find out the, there's been an update on the values provided. So uh, yeah, just to put that and just tell you this is not, uh, no, nothing's written on stone right here. Fig.show. And let's just go ahead and run that. So we can actually see we have our states and we have that army green and we have our value range starting from 10 to 90. Let me just zoom out a bit so we can see that value. And then when we put our cursor over, we can actually see the state code and we can see Democrat and Republican and we can also see the percentages for the US elections. So that's how we can do a very rough and basic uh, election. Remember, we can get the data from cargo and you can also get some extra uh, information like the numbers of voters per USC states. You can always look at that information and see what we can get. And we can also see uh, vote counts for the entire country and all that uh, summary. We can also do this summary statistics using the uh, data sets. But that will be it for now, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope you've actually learned, you know, something about how to plot maps and use Coral Play Maps using Plotly and general visualization using Plotly. So this will bring an end to this uh, chapter and uh, section. And then we'll go ahead and attempt some of the uh, basic uh, test questions just to test our knowledge for this section. 
Once again, thank you very much for watching, guys. And in our next lesson, we're going to begin with machine learning. Thank you very much, guys, and see you soon.